Frank here. Uh, I am our EM, EA Business Development Coordinator at Grace Technologies. Uh, today, uh, our topic is performing a live dead live or verifying the absence of voltage. Uh, so I want to, before I dive into a live dead live test, I want to chat with everyone here that's on this, uh, this LinkedIn live session with me about one of our permanently mounted electrical safety devices, our voltage test station. The voltage test station utilizes a handful of different components. Uh, the first component being the actual Graceport housing unit itself. The Graceport product was one of our flagship products, or is one of our flagship products, in which it houses both the voltage indicator and the safe test point. The Graceport product can also be customized with hundreds of different components and thousands of different configurations. For example, you could throw in uh, a power outlet, our USB, our, uh, uh, you know, uh, an Ethernet port. In this instance, we are utilizing our permanently mounted electrical safety devices, our voltage indicator, and our safe test point. The, the, the actual housing itself does carry different U, uh, environmental ratings. Uh, in this instance, this is our UL Type 4 housing. Um, we also have 12, which is dust height environments, and we also have 4X, which is corrosive environments. Um, Moving on to the components themselves, the voltage indicator, this is our standard R3W. Uh, it's used as a means to verify the presence of voltage and also the release of electrical stored energy. Uh, in this instance, as you can see, I have this voltage, this actual test station wired up in a 480 volt three phase application. So in a standard 480 volt three phase application, L1, 2, and three will be illuminated. Um, and then your ground LEDs will not. That is signifying a balanced three-phase state. Uh, what's cool about this device, if there is any type of imbalance, say you flip a disconnect switch thinking that you killed the power. However, uh, there's still illumination on a particular phase on the LED. Uh, that would be indicative of a stuck blade scenario. Um, that also has some troubleshooting capabilities if you lose a particular phase. Say you lose phase on L1, um, the LEDs will de-illuminate and then the ground LEDs will also illuminate signifying a phase imbalance and also phase loss in that scenario. We have multiple options available. This is again, as I mentioned, our standard R3W. Uh, we also have a fiber optic solution uh, where it routes the power to a little power box uh, and then from the, the power box that's mounted on a DIN rail, LEDs are shot to the actual device itself. Um, we also offer a category three and four rated class one div two rated voltage indicator uh, for those sniff test environments as well. The, the voltage indicator as a standalone unit is installed in a 30 millimeter hole punch knockout. Uh, in this application, uh, the, the fabrication that is required is just a, a, a rectangular cutout to fit the actual voltage test station itself. The, the next component that I wanna talk with you, everyone about today is our safe test points. The safe test points are a device that allow you to use an adequately rated portable test instrument as a means to verify both the presence and absence of voltage. In this instance, we're gonna be performing a live dead live test with this device. Both of these components as individual units are UL listed. In a actual voltage test station itself, uh, this is a UL recognized combination as it's not a final and complete assembly until it is installed on your electrical enclosure. Generally, we see this voltage test station in, installed on main uh, MCCs, uh, main distribution panels, buckets, or local disconnects, just to name a few examples. So uh, the, the, the actual safe test points, what's unique about that device is it does have built-in um, high impedance of 102 kilo ohms. So it does limit the current. Um, on a 480 volt system, we'd be looking at about 2.3 milliamps, which is well below the OSHA kind of shock severity level uh, for, for interaction with. Um, so it, 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 no, uh, along with it being UL listed, it also carries a touch safe rating as well. Um, and so with the combination of the voltage indicator and the safe test point, uh, an electrically qualified worker is able to perform a absence of voltage test or a live dead live test. So 
Um, let's go ahead and start that process for, for verifying an absence of voltage uh, test or a live dead live test. So what you're gonna need is uh, your adequately rated PPE. Um, in this instance, I have my uh, you know safety um, gloves and I also have my safety glasses. And I also have my uh, Fluke voltmeter. Uh, it's a CAT3 device that's rated for up to 600 volts. So uh, in order to start a live dead live test, you need to test your voltmeter on a known voltage source. So let's go ahead and test on this outlet here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my voltmeter to test in the outlet. And as you can see at the actual Fluke voltmeter itself, I'm getting a reading of 120 volts. Now again, with the built-in high impedance, this will read at a plus or minus 2% accuracy. So we are reading right around the 120 volts. So I was able to verify that the meter is indeed working. So now I'm gonna open up my voltage test station. And I'm gonna go ahead and test L1 to ground. And you can see um, two, about 270 volts here on my uh, voltmeter. And I also wanna test L2 to ground. Again, similar reading there. And I also wanna check L3 to ground as well. Again, about the same reading in, in and of itself there, 273 volts. Now I wanna test phase to phase as well. So we're gonna go ahead and check L1, L1 to L2. <clears throat> You can see there, uh, 473 volts. Again, with that built-in high impedance, you'll plus or minus 2% accuracy. And then I'm gonna check L1 to L3. It's again, 474 volts. And then I'm also gonna check L2 to L3 as well. Again, the fluke voltmeter is working. So now in this instance, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my fluke voltmeter. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip the disconnect switch. So you can visually get that verification there with the, the, the voltage indicator. The LEDs have de-illuminated and I don't see any uh, LEDs present at this time. So that means the uh, incident energy has also dissipated. Now I can use my fluke voltmeter again to do that same test uh, phase to phase and phase to ground. So let's go ahead and check L1 to ground. Again, a zero volt reading. Now let's check L2 to ground, same reading, L3 to ground, and then now the phase to phase as well, L1 to L2, no volts, and then L1 to L3, so again still zero volt reading, and then we'll do an L2 to L3 as well. Perfect, so at this point, we have performed the live dead live test with our fluke voltmeter. Um, again, this voltage test station is a great device as a means to safely and efficiently check for the presence and absence of voltage. Again, with the combination of the voltage indicator with the safe test points. We also offer different combination units as well. So if you're in a corrosive environment, this is our stainless steel NEMA 4X rated voltage test station. You can see the stainless steel cover. Um, we also came up with a, a template as well for identification purposes on the outside of the, uh, the cover itself uh, for easy identification of what the device is. And then you can see the voltage indicator with the safe test point. Um, and I also uh, wanted to quickly show, this is our uh, five wire safe test point. Um, as you can see, it's very similar to our four wire. Uh, the only difference here is that you can see the L1, 2, 3, and then we also have the addition of the neutral there with the ground. So if you have a, uh, a delta or a Y configuration, we can configure something for you to fit those specific application needs. One last thing I wanted to also touch on, this device here is our flex mount voltage indicator. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. I'm gonna reconnect the power there and then this is our flex mount voltage indicator device. Um, it's a uh, small voltage indicator that is UL listed up to 600 volts AC. Um, and it's used in a three, three phase 
a four wire or a three phase five wire configuration. As you can see, it does have L1, two, and three, along with the neutral and the ground. Um, it's a M20 or three quarter inch conduit hole punch knockout. Generally, we see that installed on smaller motor mount disconnects or smaller electrical control panels. In this instance, you can see this is installed on a small local disconnect there. So thank you again for taking some time to uh, learn about our permanent electrical safety devices. Please don't hesitate to reach out to our sales team. We'd be happy to configure a device for you to fit your specific application needs and help you with your lockout takeout procedures today. Thanks again. Have a great day.